Hey guys, welcome to part three of our hollow body build. Um, today we have a ton of sanding to do, that's why I'm in these coveralls. And just a lot of little miscellaneous things to get this guitar prepped for the lacquer shop. Um, we'll put a checklist up here so you can follow along. If you're new here, welcome. Please go watch parts one and two before ruining the surprise at the end of this video. Um, and while you're on our channel, be sure to give this video and all our others a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Um, but this is going to be a longer video, so we're just going to jump right in. So the first thing that we have to do is sand our sides here. And this actually takes the longest out of any of our sanding operations because we have to do it entirely by hand. Um, we don't really have any machines that can sand these sides and keep them perfectly square. So we end up using a flat block and sanding it by hand all the way around until we get these edges nice and smooth. Reach the wizard.
We've now triple checked the straightness of our fretboard. We've taken our triangular file and broken the edge on all these fret slots. Now what that does is it creates just a slight little V shape. I'll see if we can get a close up here. It just gives a slight little V on that channel. And what that does is it helps if the guitar ever needs a refret um, as you're pulling those frets little pieces of ebony aren't going to really chip out of your fretboard surface here. So next up we are going to cut our frets four at a time, put some glue in the fret slot, and then use this arbor press with a 12 inch call on it. And we're going to press those frets in place. to mention before we started pressing those first few frets in is the importance of making sure our fretboard is completely level before we start this operation. Now if you have a bunch of dips and unevenness in your fretboard, your frets are never going to be level. Or if they are, it's because you had to take a lot of material off to compensate for that. So we make sure our fretboard is completely level before we press these frets in and that almost eliminates the need for any sort of leveling after or I guess during final assembly. Um, we will double check everything, triple check it, and then in most cases all we need is just a little bit of polishing and that's about it.
So we have everything all finished up. The only thing left to do is set the neck and then we'll just kind of give it a once over in the morning once this glue is dried, uh, touch up any spots that need touched up and then send it off to the lacquer shop. Thank you guys so much for tuning into these three videos. We will hopefully do one more that is final assembly and a little play test. We actually have something really special planned as far as a demo for this guitar goes, but we'll talk more about that later. For now, we are going to set the neck. Our neck pitch is already exactly where we want it to be. So we're gonna pop this thing out, fill our neck pocket with glue, and then clamp it back down and let it sit overnight. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more guitar related content.